In today's tutorial we're going to be talking about how to add battles into your RPG Maker MZ game. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials and just general discussion about RPG Maker then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. We're going to start by clicking on the cog icon over here and opening the database manager and then we're going to go all the way down here to the enemies tab on the side. You'll notice we've already got a few enemies already here including the gnome, the gnome, but what we're going to do is we're going to change the maximum from 5 to 6 and now we've got a completely new monster, one that wasn't pre-generated with RPG Maker MZ. Now, we're going to just quickly scroll through and find a good monster. Alright, so this is the one we're going to go with, we're just going to call this Krabby. Wait, hold on, that's copyright. Crab. Can't copyright the word crab. Now you'll notice we've already got some traits generated over here. We've got the parameter hit rate 95%, evasion rate 5%. We don't really want to change that much. And then we've got the attack element as physical. Now unless you've got a strange mystical magical crab, we're just going to leave that as is. Now over here you'll see you've got some HP, MP, all the basic standard stats. Exactly the same as when you're creating a class. HP, MP, attack, defense, all that sort of stuff. So we'll jump back over to enemies. What we're going to do is we're going to change this up a bit. Now, the goblin here, the auto-generated one, this is like an average level 1 monster. So we want to sort of relatively copy some of these stats. So um, HP is 200. We're probably not going to have that. We'll leave the HP at 100, but you'll see the attack is 25. So we're going to copy that over. Now, this one here has a defense of 20. With our crab, we're going to make our defense 30. Magic attack's going to be absolutely zero because he's not a magical crab and I don't think he's going to have any magical defense so we're just going to hit zero with that one there. Now right here you can decide how much experience this awards. A good way to figure out that one is if this is a level one monster, how many of these monsters should your players beat before they level up? So we're going to quickly jump over to our class and look at our EXP curve. So for the first level they need 50 experience points. So if we jump back over to the enemies and make this 10, the players will need to beat 5 of these crabs before they level up to level 2. And then to level up to level 3, they'll need to beat 11 of those crabs. So depending on how you've got your EXP curve scaled, that's going to depend on how much experience points you dish out per enemy. So we're just going to leave that as 10. We're not going to award any gold because I don't know why crabs are walking around with gold in their stomach. Right next to that you can choose different items that can be dropped like crab claws or a force wand, a bronze flail, and then you've got the probability underneath. So if you wanted it to drop a bronze flail every single time, you'd have the probability 1 to 1. If you want a 1 in 10 chance that a bronze flail is going to fall out of this crab, then you can set that 1 to 10. We're not going to have it drop any items because we're not dropping any bronze flails out of a crab. Underneath that you've got the action patterns. So at the moment we only have one action which is attack. You can double click underneath that to have a new one. So you can have attack, you can have it use dual attack, double attack. So I'm just going to have double attack there. And instead of rating 5, it's going to be a rating 3. So it's going to use that less often it's more likely going to use the attack option with a rating of 5. And that's all we really need to know about making an enemy. We're going to jump over here onto the troops tab, which is the one underneath it, and this is where your battles are actually going to be taking place. So we can change the maximum down here again from 5 to 6, load that up, and I'm not really liking this battle background, so let's change that. Considering they're crabs, they're not going to be in the middle of a forest. You know, sand for the foreground. Wow, the closest thing they have to an ocean background is this port. So I guess we're just going to choose that one then. And then you can choose all your different enemies on the side here. So if we double clicked goblins, some goblins would spawn in here. We don't want them, so we're just going to delete them by hitting remove. You can also hit clear. And we're just going to add a few crabs in. One, two, three. You can auto name this crab three. We'll just hit apply. Now an important thing you want to do is you want to go down to system one and change it from front view to side view. Ugh and change this from turn base to time progress active because that's the fun one. If your starting party has any more people then feel free to jump in there and just delete them. Delete, 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 delete. Now if we go back over to troops we can load this up and test out our battle. What you have up here in the battle test is you can have the different actors that are going to test out this battle with you. I've deleted everyone except Ashula. Delete. Then you can also choose what level they're going to fight at as well as the equipment that they're going to have. So we're just going to hit OK and start the battle test. Alright, there she is, Crab emerged. As you can see, the time bar is filling up. 
fight, attack. Okay, so there you go. You've just tested your first battle. I hope you were taking notes because there's a few things we're able to change now. So what we're going to do is jump back over to enemies. Now those crabs were doing a lot of damage. They were doing one third of a health each time. So what I'm going to do as a level 1 monster, I'm just going to drop their attack to 20. And now she did one fire spell and that killed all of them instantly. So I'm just going to raise their magical defense, raise it to 10. We'll hit apply and then we'll go test that battle again. And this is an integral part of when designing enemies for your game, is you're going to spend a lot of time doing this part here, where you're balancing the stats and everything involved in it. And the idea about balancing these stats is we're trying to make it so it's not too hard for the character, but they're not sitting there button mashing their way through every fight. So I think I've got the stats okay with this one, I'm just going to jump in one more time and test it out. There we go, so that's probably a relatively balanced fight. If your character has potions and she gets hit a few times, she can use a potion, then use a spell the next turn. But ideally, that's a good fight for a single character. Keep in mind that if you have more characters, then you are going to have to balance the battles for that. So if you're in an area where you think your player is going to have, say, two characters, then you might want to up the stats of the monsters, all that sort of stuff. But now that we've actually got these monsters here, how do you get it to work in game? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and there's two ways we can do it. What we want to do is we want to click on world map and hit spacebar and that brings up our map properties. Then over on the right hand side, you've got the troop tab. You just want to double click here and you can choose the selected monsters that you want to fight. So it's going to be the crabs. Weight is just how often you're going to encounter those monsters. So if you had this as five and something else as four, then you're going to be encountering this one more often than the other one. You can select whether you want it to be done by a specific region ID or by the entire map. We're just going to select entire map for now. And the encounter rate, we're just going to lower that to 30. Hit OK. If you did want to do it by region ID, what you can do is set which region ID you want and then have the region ID painted across the map exactly where you want to face the crabs. But we've got the random encounters set up in the world map, so now we're just going to load into game and show you what that looks like. So here we are on the world map. Now ideally every 30 steps uh, average we're going to get into a random battle. Now she received 30 experience if we just go over to her status screen you'll see that her current experience is 30 and she's got 20 until the next level. Another way you can get people to fight monsters in your game, let's say there's some crabs terrorizing this beach town, you can create an event and we'll have a man here and he's just going to say the crabs are attacking! Then what we want to do is right underneath that text double click, go over to the third tab in the event commands and you'll see battle processing. Click on that one and it'll ask what battle you want to start. So we're going to start Crabs 3. You can designate it with a variable, pretty useless, you don't need to. You can make it a random encounter, again, not necessary. Here you can select whether you can lose or whether you can escape. What that means is if you lose this fight, it won't be a game over, it'll just take you back into the normal map. We want it to be a game over, so we're just going to hit OK. So what's going to happen is he's going to say, the crabs are attacking! Then it's going to start the battle with the crabs. Afterwards, we'll just get him to say, you saved my little life from the crabby webs! And we're going to leave that there. So I'll hit apply, jump into game, and test that out. So as you can see, we've got all our NPCs here from before. Let's talk to this man. The crabs are attacking! You saved my little life from the Krabby Wabs! And that is the battle processing. Now we're just going to quickly exit out of this and we're going to click on town and hit spacebar and you'll see where it says specify battle back you can tick that on and select the battle map. So it's just going to be sand and port. Not poison swamp, port. And now whenever there is a battle on this map here it's going to show that battle background. Now real quickly because they're crabs and they're sea creatures, 
we're going to go back over to the enemies tab and right here where we have the parameters and traits we're just going to create a new one so we're going to click over here and where it says element rate we're going to change this to thunder and thunder is going to do 150% as opposed to 100% of the thunder damage because they're water, they're weak to thunder. And another cool thing we can do is change it from, uh, where is it? We'll change the fire rate, which is the spell she's using, down to 85%. Not exactly half because st fire is still going to hurt them pretty badly, but they're more resistant to fire than they are thunder. And that just means we're not going to be doing the full amount of fire damage when we cast that fire spell. In the next video, we're going to be going over how to make a cutscene. So we've done all the basics, most of the basics. In the next video, we're going to talk about putting all of that together and having a cutscene for your game so you can start the game off in the right way and move the story forward. Oh, by the way, don't forget to scroll down and backhand the like button across the face. It really helps get my video out to more people. And I'll see you in the next video.